guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do the, I use a full face of pink makeup or pink packaging makeup. Um, so yeah, everything I use today is either pink or in something pink. So yes, some of them were a bit of a struggle to find, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and if you wanna see me get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna use the Touch and Soul No Problem Priming Water. I actually quite like this last time I used it. So I'm just gonna put a bit of that on. I don't really use primers, I've said this so many times. You probably don't need me to say it again, but I don't really wear primers. But primer waters, I don't mind because I just find that they get a bit sticky and then your foundation sticks better. But other than that, I just wouldn't use them. I have got moisturizer on as well, which was pink. Yeah, it was pink, so I used my usual Body Shop Vitamin E Essence Lotion, uh, and then I used the Lacura, I think this is like Aldi's own, um, Gentle Daily Face Cream Q10, and it's got SPF in it. So yeah, both pink, so I haven't cheated. Okay, so for, I've got like, tough base on it, mate, oh no. Okay. For foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is the shade F7. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pink packaging, pink packaging. Some of, some of these, I'm probably like, maybe cheating a little bit. You'll have to be the judge. <laughs> This might be a bit dark for me, so I might have to drag it down my neck, but is there anyone with pink packaging that I could find? So I'm gonna take my flat top brush and just blend that in. Actually, no, it's not too bad, actually. And I've got the camera on a different angle today. Don't ask me why, I just thought I'd mix up. So I've got my, my mirror this side. So it probably looks a bit weird that like I'm looking that way, not that way. So yeah. If you're like, why is she looking the other way? It's because I changed it up. Anyway, yeah. I absolutely love this foundation. I haven't used it in like a few weeks actually. Maybe longer. Crazy. Um, yes. It's so good coverage. Okay, and then for concealer, I'm using this best friend. I use the same Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2. And I'm gonna whack this on everywhere. Cause I'm on it, just woke up. <laughs> I need as much coverage as possible. And this one's running out. I have got the jumbo one ready to go in case I run out. Jumbo, jumbo, and jumbo. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put a bit on my eyelids. And I'm gonna use the same foundation brush to blend all that out. That looks so good. It's definitely my favourite concealer of like all time. <laughs> okay, right now I'm not sure what to do for bronzer. I've got a few options, but I'm not sure if one's cheating. <laughs> so this is the Primark PS Bronze Liquid Bronzer. Does that count as as rose gold or is that just like bronze? I'm not sure. I really don't know. Or I have this contour and stick, Model Co contour and stick, that's obviously pink. So maybe I'll just use that and not, not cheat. <laughs> and then I've got an actual powder bronzer from Ted Baker. Um, I don't know if it's got a, like a shade name to it. Um, I don't think it does. But it's like a shimmery one, so I can put that like on top. So I think I'll do that. I'll draw this bad boy on. Has this got a shade name? Um, no. <laughs> Good with the shade names today. So I'm gonna draw this on down my nose. 
Holy moly. This is creamy. And a little bit of my chin chin chin. And then I'm gonna blend that out with, oh no. I'm gonna use my very dirty brush, angled brush, and just blend this out. I haven't, I don't know if I've really used this contour and stick before, or if I have, it's only like once. It's actually not bad. I am gonna go over it with the Ted Baker one, just with like a duo fibre brush. Just to add a little satin satin. Okay, that's nice. That's a nice little combo. So for blush, I'm gonna use a Give Face Loose Blush in the shade Dolly. How adorable is that? So I'm just gonna take a little bit and pop that on my cheeks. Okay, I need to set my under eyes now. And this is where it became a little bit tricky. I don't have, I don't have a setting powder or any powder that's in pink back gym. The only thing I could find is the Wet n Wild pressed powder, the Photo Focus pressed powder, and it's got a tiny pink label. So I'm gonna have to use that, but it's in the shade Natural Beige. For under my eyes, oh no. I may have to use like an eyeshadow or something, just like fix that. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this under my eyes now. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Plus, I don't actually like this powder that much. Um, I never really have. I don't really like a baked powder blush. Powder blush? Powder. No, just powder. <laughs> Stop talking. Um, yeah. So this is an ideal. Yeah, it doesn't look the best. It's not awful, but I wouldn't personally use it under my eyes. For the rest of the face, it's not too bad. Okay. Um, I don't have my little freckle thing because that's not pink packaging, so we'll have to skip that. <laughs> For eyebrows, this is where it also got interesting. Oh, I haven't done highlight. <clears throat> Who am I? Okay, I've got two options for highlight. I have got the Glow It Highlighting Palette by GWO, which is rose gold and pink. These are the three shades. Or I have a wet and, wetting, wet and wild highlighting powder in Precious Petals, which is pink. So I'm not sure which one to go for because these ones technically aren't gonna be pink. It's just in pink packaging. So maybe I'll go with this one and then maybe add some if I need it, if it's like too pink. Is that a plan? I think that's a plan. So let's give this a whirl. I haven't used this one in a little while either. Oh my god, that's nice. Okay, no, that's so nice. Okay, I'm loving that. So nice. Um, okay, so back to brows then. I don't have a pomade or um, a pencil. That's pink, so I'm gonna use an eyeshadow from a pink packaging. So this is W7 Delicious. I have used this before, and I'm gonna use the brown shade just up here and see if I can fill in my brows with it. Um, I never use powder for my eyebrows, like literally never. So this will be interesting. Okay, I'm just hoping it's dark enough. I really hope so. <laughs> I think it's a little bit warm. Oh no. 
I'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, they actually don't look too bad. Um, they're not like overly sharp, that's the only bad thing about powder, but it's not too bad, it's not too bad. So, for, let's move on to the eyes. So, I've got Lick and Lash palette. <clears throat> this is kind of like as pink as it gets because the inside's not. <laughs> but I will use like the pink shades, so. Technically, I'm not cheating. <laughs> right, so to start, I'm just gonna set my lids a little bit more with this like nude shade here. And just kind of pop that all over the lid just to set it because I didn't really trust that powder too much. Um, my underwears don't look too bad, but they're not like overly bright. Okay, so I'm now gonna go in with, mm, I might go in with this one just for a little bit of a transition and then we'll go into the pinks. This is just to like start us off and then we'll go all pink. And I feel like doing something like really soft, like a really soft pink. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Who knows how it turns out. Okay. So we're gonna go in with um, this one, this pink here. A little bit scared because it's like so much pigment, but so I'm gonna pop this in the crease. And blend that up. This palette, by the way, is the 35E palette, if I didn't say. I don't think I've done like a baby pink look in a long time. This might look a bit too Barbie-ish on me. Okay, then I'm gonna take the, mm, this one here, I think, just to deepen up the crease a little bit. Not too much. And then I'm gonna take one of the metallics. I think I'm gonna take this one here. And I'm going to pack that all on the lid. <clears throat> I'm going to take some on my inner corner. And then just quickly give it another blend. Sure. I'm gonna take the baby pink under my eye. Okay, I think that actually looks quite cute now. And I think with some lashes, it should look alright. Um, so I'm gonna use a liner just to line the top of my lashes, and I'm gonna use this rose gold um, Steve Laurent eyeliner in black, and even the actual eyeliner itself is, is even more pinky than the packaging so definitely not cheating definitely not cheating so I'm just gonna draw a line just so I can pop my lashes on and it hides the band Okay, and then for mascara, I'm gonna use the Essence I Heart Extreme. I absolutely love this mascara. Pop that on my lashes. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna pop on the Cherry Top Lashes by Unicorn Cosmetics. And I've even got lash glue with like a pink lid. And my tweezers do have a bit of pink on as well. So, definitely not cheating. No cheating going on around here. So I'm gonna pop the glue on. 
and this one doesn't need to like dry so you can just whack them straight on this glue is from Give Face Cosmetics and it's super strong, it's bomb. So I give them a little shake and then pop them on. Okay, <clears throat> so for the lips, I'm gonna use the Estate lipstick. So I'm gonna use one of the wet matte liquid lips and one of the lip icing. So the matte is the shade Treat. So it is pink and the packaging is pink, but it is like a nude color. So hopefully that's acceptable. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop this on. And it smells like holiday, it's so nice. Such a pretty nude, I think the formula is so nice. It's like really soft. And then for the lip icing, this is the shade Extra. We love a bit of Extra. Holy moly. And this is pink, so definitely acceptable. So I'm going to pop this on top. Again, it smells so nice. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so to finish things off, hopefully this one's acceptable. This is the Eye Hot Makeup Fixing Spray. I've only got like a tiny bit left. That's pink, right? I know this is kind of horrible, but that's pink. So... We got new. <laughs> so that's the makeup. I'm just gonna quickly pop off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so it wouldn't be a pink tutorial without a pink wig. So <laughs> I thought I'd quickly chuck this on just for the outro, um, just for a bit of fun. Although I probably would just wear this anyway, so. <laughs> Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you've got any other challenges, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.